Welcome to another discussion on electricity and today we are going to discuss about combination of resistors and combining resistors is a very important part of uh, physics and electrical engineering and other forms of uh, engineering also and this is important uh, for a number of reasons. So there are two ways in which we can combine resistors and today we are going to discuss about uh, combining resistors in series. So in series when we combine resistors we actually connect them end to end. So uh, we have to try to understand uh, how they are connected and for that we shall take the help of a diagram. So a resistor in a circuit is shown with the help of the following symbol. There is a broken line symbol for uh, representing resistors and when we are connecting in series what we are doing is we are joining resistors end to end. So the first one is a resistor and this one is also a resistor. We have joined it end to end. This is suppose resistance number one and this is resistance number two and they have been joined end to end. This is connection in series and we can join this to some say cell which is supply of power and let the uh, potential difference supplied by the cell be V volt. So in this manner we have a system of two resistors connected in series connected to a power supply which is supplying a potential difference of V volt and since it is connected in series so the current flowing will actually leave this uh, say if this is considered to be the positive terminal then the current uh, may be seen to be flowing from the positive terminal and it flows through the first resistance R1 and again it flows to the second resistance R2 and then it comes back uh, from here and enters the negative terminal. So uh, the flow of current is equal through both the resistors. The amount of current flowing through R1 is equal to the amount of current flowing through R2 and that is due to an important uh, conservation law which is called law of conservation of charges. So we have a current I flowing through resistance R1 and current I flowing through resistance R2 if we consider I to be the current actually which is coming out from this terminal. So now according to Ohm's law the potential difference across this resistance is actually I into R1 one that is the potential difference across the first resistance and the potential difference across the second resistance obviously will be I into R2. Now that will give us the total potential difference which is equal to V and that V is obviously equal to I into R where R is the net resistance due to the combination of both these resistors. Okay, so I thought, I, I hope I made my point clear. We have a potential difference of I into R1 across this resistance, I into R2 across this resistance and the total uh, potential difference is V which can be represented by I into R where R is the net resistance due to these two system of resistors. Hence, we can write it in this way. We can write as V that is the total potential difference is equal to V1 which is the potential difference across the resistance R1 and plus V2 which is the potential difference across the resistor R2. So this is equal to V and as we have seen that V is actually equal to the current times R where R is the net resistance. That means if these two resistors were replaced by a single resistance, that resistance would have resistance equal to R. So IR, which is V actually, so V is IR, it is equal to V1, V1 is IR1, okay. So it will be IR1 and then V2, as we have seen earlier, is nothing but I into R2. So that will give us the relation now. We can just simply take the common I and cancel it 
on both sides. So what we have is R is equal to R1 plus R2. This can be generalized for any number of resistances. So if we have n number of resistances, then we have the net resistance when connected in series as R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 up to Rn. So for n number of resistances, the, the total resistance can be calculated in that manner if the resistors are connected in series. Now let us take a short example. Suppose we have three resistors which are connected in series. The first resistance, suppose it, it is 2 ohm. The second resistance, suppose it is 1 ohm. And the third resistance, suppose it is 3 ohm. Okay, so these resistors are collect, connected in series and all of them are connected to a cell which is suppose supplying a power supply a potential difference of 12 volt okay so suppose we have been asked to calculate what is the net current flowing through this circuit in order to calculate that we have to first calculate the total resistance due to these three resistors so since these are connected in a series hence we can easily say that the net resistance is actually 2 plus 1 plus 3 and that is obviously equal to 6 ohm. So that is the net resistance since it is connected in series. And now by using the Ohm's law, we can easily calculate the current. The current I is nothing but it is equal to the potential difference divided by the resistance. The potential difference is 12 volt and the resistance, the net resistance as we have calculated it, it is 6 ohm. So hence the current flowing through this system, since it is connected in series, so the current flowing through this system will be equal throughout all the resistors and that current is given by this expression over here. The current will be equal to 2 ampere. So in this manner, we can solve questions if resistors are connected in series. We shall take a short break and we'll come back for the second type of connection of resistors. Till then, see you. Thank you.